Jean-Francois, this was a pretty major report, the final report of the EWG. Tell us about it. Everything started by the, uh, the creation and the mission of uh, EWG. As you know, it was created under the initiative of the ICANN CEO, Fadi Shahade, at the request of ICANN board, uh, to help uh, resolve a long-time blocking situation within the ICANN community. Uh, and this is on how to replace the current uh, WIS system. So the EWG mission uh, is or was and is uh, still to re-examine and define the purpose of collecting and maintaining GTLD registration data, then consider how to safeguard the data, then of course propose a next generation solution that will better serve the needs of the overall internet community. And I really insist on the, the terms of overall uh, global internet community. Uh, the EWG was formed to work through, of course, opposing opinions. We agree on the very, very first day to speak very freely and to contribute as individual. And things, I think this was a major breakthrough in terms of how people get together to, to really, really contribute freely on this uh, massive work. Uh, the EWG has uh, always respected and, and valued, in fact, very much the rights of every member uh, as an individual to freely and uh, frankly voice their personal uh, opinion. Basically, the bottom line of your report is totally replacing who is. Why not just fix it? Why, why actually replace the whole thing? Well, of course, it would have been maybe uh, tempting to try to, to, to fix what we thought was totally unfixable. So numerous uh, communities uh, and, and studies reporting that uh, many times uh, uh, about the, the deficiency of the WUIs. So we all assess uh, that WUIs uh, now reach the point where it was beyond repair. So the proposed uh, new registration directory services is designed to basically address different things. So first thing is the difficulties uh, we are currently facing on data privacy uh, issues. So uh, the validation challenges that have uh, degraded uh, the data quality and accuracy was also a very important element we wanted to address and striking a workable balance between access and accountability. As such, starting from a clean slate was a recommendation from, of course, EWG and also very well supported by the ICANN board, which is, in fact, much more efficient and constructive way looking forward. So, in other words, what you guys said was basically, this has been a controversy for well over a decade at ICANN, a very, a, a very heated controversy between, as you would say, accountability and, uh, and privacy. And so basically what you guys did is re-examine the very root of what this should be, correct? Yes, absolutely. As I said, uh, it was basically very, very difficult to repair what we saw. All within the EWG um, uh, group, we recommended abandoning uh, what is today's uh, WUIS uh, model uh, for giving uh, every uh, user the same uh, entirely anonymous public access to GTLD registration data. In any case, uh, I think it was uh, by far too often inaccurate. So for that, we recommended a, a paradigm shift to the next generation directory services called RDS. And this RDS uh, will uh, collect, validate, disclose GTLD registration data for permissible data only. And this is quite important. So for that, some basic data will remain publicly available, but the rest will be accessible only to accredited uh, requesters who can identify themselves, state their purpose, and also agree to be accountable for appropriate use. You guys took 15 months. How difficult has it been for you to arrive at this final report? So, of course, at the beginning, when we were talking about general principle and very high level issues, uh, this was definitely relatively easy to address that and direct us to what is now basically the, the, the model. But the more we were going to this uh, discussion, uh, the more we realized we need to have very deep level of details on putting more flesh on the bones of this one. 
and definitely the, the discussion became quite heated as we were reaching the deadline of producing the final uh, report. So the bottom line is we have what we basically have now because of your final report is this foundation for further, further community discussion, the first part of which occurs in London, right? Yes, absolutely. So this final report, and I very much encourage everyone to read this uh, 166 pages, contains many, uh, many, many innovative ideas and great promise as well. Uh, our final reports reflect compromise as necessary to make any paradigm shift. It is no surprise that, as I said before, uh, each EWG member objects in part to some principle contained in the final report. But what is very precious for us, all of us agree that RDS is greatly preferred to today's WIS uh, situation. So we publish a report reflecting this uh, consensus to create a strong foundation. This is like a big stick in the ground for the community convergence uh, on a system that, while of course not perfect, works better for all, all of us in the community. So we do hope sincerely that we have done, we have articulated uh, such a, a difficult issues such a way that our final report is the beginning of a very constructive dialogue, sure, and a successful uh, GNSO PDP. So that's really, really what is this report about. We look forward very much to the continuing dialogue in London. Jean-Francois, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Brad. Thank you.